Hi folks, Canadian Prepper. I'm gonna have to talk over this part of the video because the audio was very poor, but I just want to share my first impressions of the Seek Outside tent. So any piece of gear that I test, especially if it's a pricey item like this, I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, this is an expensive unit. The 4-man TB tent is $650 American, so I actually ended up paying close to a thousand bucks once all the trimmings were factored in and shipping and all that to Canada because of course our, our dollar is about 25% less than the American dollar. This wasn't a product that was sent to me for review although I did get a minor discount. So any piece of gear that I get which is a very high value item like this I'm going to make sure that I put it through the ringer especially while, while it's within the warranty range because you know I want to make sure that this is a quality product that's worth the money because it's a very expensive unit so I didn't just set the tent up for a day and have lunch in it I actually went for a three-day backcountry excursion where I tested out the tent and a wood stove which is compatible with this tent which I'll be reviewing in another video to really get a feel for its quality now I was camping in conditions down to minus 20 so not the coldest I've seen or camped in but certainly trying conditions at night when you're trying to get a good night's sleep. Now I'm gonna cut to the chase, I'm gonna tell you why this tent is awesome, and I'm also gonna talk about what needs improvement in my opinion. Now some of the things that are awesome is that it is incredibly small and compact. As you can see here, I have it in this sack. It can actually compress down to about half that size, but I don't wanna to put too much strain on the fabric and the seams so I'd like to give a little bit of breathing room actually the bag that they sent me with it was twice the size of the one that you're seeing now I actually messaged the company and I was like you know WTF like this bag is way too big you know this is supposed to be ultra light so obviously you know I'm gonna be wanting to pack this into a small area apparently they've had customer feedback which has suggested that most people want a bigger size bag now one of the beauties of this tent over many other tents is that you don't have to do the whole roll it up on the ground thing and you know when you're trying to roll up a tent and you got the grass getting in the way and it's wet this thing you just stuff it right into the sack this is not something that's unique to this manufacturer a lot of big tent manufacturers uh, make their tents like that so you don't have to roll them up so they're easy to deploy and they're easy to pack in now this is the four person version of the tent it goes all the way up to a 12 person tent which is massive and of course it's massively expensive now in addition to this you're carrying a telescoping carbon fiber pole which is easily assembled and some lightweight tent stakes so the overall weight of this four season tent i gotta emphasize that this is a four season tent and i had the stove jack built in is incredibly light this whole package only weighs five pounds that's really incredible which is very spacious and very easy to deploy not only that it's very weather resistant now the material that's made to use this tent is called sil nylon but there is a much more detailed explanation of the fabric which i'm going to try to read off to you right now all right so i'm going to try to say this in one breath seek outside uses a cordura spec ultralight silicone impregnated 30 denier ripstop nylon with a hydrostatic head rating of 3000 millimeters anyways all you need to know it's a strong and light high performance fabric the company claims to offer a warranty for the quote-unquote practical lifetime of the product so very ambiguous terminology there certainly not a unlimited lifetime warranty basically they're just saying that if there's defects in the manufacturing and material for the practical lifetime of the product they will honor that warranty and either repair it or send you a new one which i suppose is reasonable i mean something like this is certainly not going to be a lifetime depending on how long you use it but i would hope in the very least that you got many 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 days out of this for the investment that you're paying because the reality is uh, for that price you can go to cabela's and get a very large tent albeit one that's going to be much heavier and it's going to be more time consuming to set up for an equivalent price now i have used the tp tent in windy conditions it was set up in my backyard for a couple days prior to taking out for my trip and it was actually very windy and what's great about the tp or pyramidal design period is a very strong structure 
the wind is able to be deflected around the teepee fairly easily. So I wasn't worried about being blown over and I was in some pretty significant high winds. Now some of the things that I didn't like about it are number one, it is a very pricey unit for what you're getting for the simplicity of the stitching on it. Basically it's a bunch of long pieces of sil nylon that are sewn together. Now sil nylon is a very expensive fabric and just being a business which is based out of the United States, uh, I can totally understand having had my roll manufactured in Canada, uh, the high cost, most of the cost is gonna be labor, that's what you're paying for. Now I realize that the packaging of a product doesn't have a predictive relationship with the quality of the product therein. However, there are many products on the market that are very high quality uh, products that also you know the company puts a little bit more into their packaging now I know like I, I know a lot of people are gonna say Nate this is not a big deal but I'll tell you what I got in the mail it was the box I got in the mail was a little tattered that might have been from customs it didn't look like it was opened or anything like that so I think it came straight from the company like this it just had the carbon fiber pole in there it ha basically had everything in there there was a one page sheet of instructions which was printed in black and white very minimalist and when you're paying a thousand dollars for something like this you really do expect a little bit more out of the gates you know something to get you a little bit excited about this and something to really guide you in terms of setting up your tent and making you feel like the company you know really values your first impression and that's not the impression I got with this. Anyways, I don't think this speaks to the tent's quality per se, just a little bit of a pet peeve of mine with respect to how some of this stuff is marketed. Now, another thing, when you get the tent, you have to seam seal it. Now, I'm not sure why they don't tape the seams. And you know, you, you think that like for a thousand dollars that that would be something that, that should be factored into the price. Cause as I said, these are straight line stitching. Uh, it's nothing very extravagant. I actually got the tent with the screen built in. That's going to cost you more money if you want a screen. And you're definitely going to want a screen on this if you live in a place with a lot of bugs. Otherwise, you're going to be driven nuts in the middle of the night. And you're just going to be praying for one of those cheap three season tents from Walmart that has the no see -em mesh. So I would strongly recommend that you take them up on their offer to sew in some screen doors. Now, when they do sew in these screen doors, once again, it's not a very good job that they do with it. It's very bare bones. In my opinion, the way they do this isn't very practical. Normally on these tents, the screen portion is built in to the door and the zipper on the screen is embedded in the entire door itself. With this one, basically, if you're not using the screen, you have to roll it up along the sidewall of the tent. It can't just be built into the door of the tent for you to use it when you want. I'm not sure if that makes sense, but uh, this is something they could have done, but it would have cost a bit more to do, so they didn't do it. The stove jack isn't anything to write home about. I mean, it's just a, uh, I think it's probably just some kind of silicon flap or something like that, which is sewn on. There is a Dyneema reinforced apex, and if you don't know, that's one of the strongest materials known to man, I believe. And that is where the carbon fire meets the tip of the teepee. So you know that that's going to be a really, really strong part of the tent. There's also a ventilation window on the one I have, and it's made rigid by a wire that runs along to it. So it's not just going to sink onto the tent. It's actually going to ensure you have that ventilation. This is important too, if you're running a stove in there and you, you have a little minor leak at night and you got your tent sealed up pretty tight, which I wouldn't recommend anyways. You might want to leave it open just a little crack just so you don't get uh, carbon monoxide poisoning while you're in there. There is some side guy out points on there if you want to make a little more taut around the edges, maybe give yourself a little, little bit more room at the base of the tent. Overall, I'd say this is a great two-man excursion tent. Four person obviously is pushing it. Uh, maybe, you know, a couple parents and a couple kitties. Anything beyond that, it's going to be very, very tight. So I wouldn't recommend that. The tent doesn't have a base. If you wanted to, you could easily slap down a tarp. They might even sell ground sheets. I'm not sure if they do. You'd have to go and check on their website. They also sell other things like nests and liners, which are going to really bring the price up on a unit like this. You can go check out their website. I'm not necessarily endorsing these tents or not endorsing the tent. 
I would say that I'm satisfied with the tent. I'm going to right now give it a 7 out of 10 just because of the high price point. Now, for you Americans, 650 bucks might not seem as much as that equates to in Canadian dollars, which is closer to a thousand. So maybe that's uh, not as bad of a price for you. But uh, that's my honest take on things. The tent stood up fine to the elements, packs down extremely easy. It's definitely going to be my bug out tent because now, well, of course I bought it, so I'm stuck with it. Honestly, there really is no tent which is better suited to a bug out system than a TB tent. And there's a variety of companies which makes TB tents. So make sure you shop around. Thanks for watching Canadian Prepper O.